Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Wednesday, June the 28th. Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday morning in the middle of the week, and hopefully you have some nice things planned for today to interact with those that you care about. In life that we lead, we cannot really exist for long or in a good state as being too lonely, right? We need to have people or animals around us. It is important, and it is important also to have and try to develop solid connections with these individuals. In my Four C's to a Stronger Heart, I talk about the importance of having good connections in our life and understanding when connections don't go the way we do, what we can do to safeguard ourselves. More on that coming when my website is completed, but for today, let's just think about the connections that we do have that are positive in our life, those that really feed us and nurture us, and let's appreciate them as we enjoy this Wednesday. So with that, I'm going to ask you to quiet your minds and hearts as we prepare to hear today's gospel, which is from St. Matthew, chapter 7, verses 15 to 20. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but underneath are ravenous wolves. By their fruits you will know them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Just so every good tree bears good fruit, and a rotten tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a rotten tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. So by their fruits, you will know them. I would say that every single one of us, at least once and probably more than once in our life, have experienced what Jesus talks about, which is a wolf in sheep's clothing. When it happens, it's hurtful. When it happens, it's dangerous sometimes. It certainly catches us by surprise more often than not, and it's discouraging. That's just the reality of it. However, there is a way maybe for us to look at this as we go forward at those people who come into our lives. And Jesus proposes to look at the fruits that they offer to us. Well, I haven't gotten to ShopRite as much as maybe I should, but I do know a little bit about picking out fruit, and maybe you do as well. Sometimes you look at the fruit as it's lying there amongst others, and what you're looking at looks fine. But when you pick it up and take the time and patience to turn it around, you may see a rotten part on the other side. Unfortunately, this is true sometimes of the people that come into our lives. We see on the surface something very good, but then when we look a little deeper, we see things that are a little disheartening and cause for concern. This is why we have to look very patiently at those who come into our lives and go with a cautious optimism, I call it. On the other side of this, I use a banana, which is a fruit. <laughs> and sometimes you can look at a banana and say, oh, it looks bruised. It looks like it's going bad. But then when you open it up, the banana is fine. As a matter of fact, sometimes it's better than those that look so pristine on the outside. This is true also, isn't it? Sometimes people come into our lives and they're a little rough on the outside, but then when we get to know them on the inside, they're beautiful beings who offer compassion and love. The most important thing is to use the patience that we have and the cautious optimism, as I call it, when we have people in our lives and have an open mind and an open heart to all possibilities so that we don't get caught by surprise and we understand where people come from. Let's face it, my friends, none of us are perfect. So when we look at this, we also have to look at the fact that we have to accept a little bit of not so good parts of the fruit in all of us because we have it ourselves. The only ones that come into our lives that are pure fruit and beautiful all the way around are, yes, the animals that we share the planet with. They're sincere, they're compassionate and respectful and full of love. People, well, we have a different view of people and people are a little bit different than our animals that we share the planet with, but that doesn't make them all bad and that doesn't make every situation all bad. 
What it comes down to again, and finally, is our patience and cautious optimism when those people come into our lives. Something I think about today and hopefully going forward. And I hope you enjoyed my thoughts with you today. I always enjoy your thoughts and your feedback to me. I appreciate it. I appreciate you being here with me. I thank you for being here with me. Today is going to be my last day for a few days. I'm working on some new content on compassion that I am looking forward to rolling out. I have some things over the next couple of days. So I am going to say that I will see you back here on Sunday, July 2nd. Believe it or not, it will be the month of July. I hope you enjoy your Wednesday and the rest of your week. And thank you again. Take care, everyone.